Okay. Okay. I am happy to inform everyone. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. It's giving stable. It's giving stable today. Hello, everybody. Oh, no. I've messed up. I'm the drama. Never mind. I fixed it. It's giving stable. How are we feeling today? How's life? Good morning. Good morning. Happy Fry Yay. We did it. Another week has passed. <clears throat> and it's another week where I still cannot manage to start without having a frog in my throat. Whew. But how are we all doing? How's life? Morning, Brandy. Oh my god. Hey, is Indigo. That is that her? Is that is that the legendary Brandy indeed? I would say we have we have a couple of fun people in chat. I have to say hi to Neha. Hi Neha. How are you? Hold on. I'm gonna take a swig of my uh, I'm gonna take a swig of my tasty hot caffeinated beverage in my extremely colorful cup with my danger noodle. I love that mug. Uh it's a good what one. Is, what is what it? Uh this is the this, it's a snake, but it's in the colors of the asexual flag. They have them in all Love pride it. colors. They have them in all pride colors. Oh, we've got orange in chat. Hi, orange. Orange, um, orange is becoming my number one fan, and that's not a compliment. So, <laughs> how are you, orange? I forgot how to play for a second. So I have I have spoilers for everyone. I have spoilers, but they're good spoilers. There's good spoilers. My husband, over the weekend actually beat tomb raider one and so i've been watching him oh, play it. really yes he did and i've been watching him play it on the couch because he finished like a dragon infinite oh i gotta get reacclimated to this and this is a bad spot for reacclimation mm -hmm. this is a whole you start spot. you're starting at the top here yeah i think it's because i opened up the door to something up top yes i opened up to neptune okay that part has been jogged. I think I got Thor. I did somebody that had... Thor had the hammer. I've done at least two rooms. Yeah, I think... You haven't done the fun one yet, the swimming room. There's a swimming room. There's a swimming room. I don't like it. I'm about to stop the stream. I'm not I'm not dealing also, with this today. Also, hold on. Backtrack. What did uh, what'd your partner think of the end of, of one? Um... <laughs> not that it wasn't that starting off strong yes um he enjoyed it he enjoyed it a great deal he actually whoop, we want that i have to remember what my action button is we got jump we got guns that's action okay okay we're gonna try this again um he enjoyed it he he liked it a great deal um he also is pierre's number one hater he is also Pierre's number one hater, and he was very, very. <laughs> oh no! Like I, uh, if you are in the Discord, you'll see that I've updated my name. My name has been updated to something extremely critical, important. I am. I'm a slander him. I don't care. I don't care. He smells like tartar sauce. Wait, I, I haven't seen it. What's what's your new nickname? Oh, go look! Go look! I feel like it's very fitting. It's very fitting. Greetings from Germany. Welcome on in. What time is it in Germany? If you don't mind my asking. Um, yeah, hi, TGA. We can, uh, we can see you. Okay, does someone think we didn't see them? Hi, how are you? Yeah. The same time as Italy. Orange, that doesn't... That helps nothing. Oh, I gotta go in this water. I hate it here so much. Um, Asava89 asks, who is this? Who Vanessa, is what? who are we? Who are we? Wait, who asked I, who, that? who are we? Who are we? Uh, Asava89. Okay. Um, so I am Vanessa Brassfield. I am a community coordinator here at Crystal Dynamics. Uh, I am slowly but surely coming up on my two-year anniversary of working here at Crystal. Ooh. And... I am streaming live for you the Tomb Raider 1 through 3 remasters because despite all of my gaming knowledge, 
this is my first time playing these. Uh, Hunter, go ahead and introduce yourself, and then I will always, always share the deep lore with the chat. Yeah, I'm, I'm Hunter Wolf. Um, I'm on the community team on Tomb Raider, and yeah, this is we've been doing a, a series of videos. Vanessa's playing through Tomb Raider one for the first time and experiencing all of the, all the first naming all of the um all of the enemies yes we Which have... i think there might be one or one or two more in this playthrough we can name i am going to drown i believe because i did not find where that opened up and that's fine because i haven't saved unless unless oh gaming hours early ah. on a friday morning um so the deep lore about this is hunter has played the game extensively Hunter has played the game extensively. This is my first time playing it. Uh, to go ahead and, as usual, date myself. This came out when I was 10 years old, and I was not in a household that had lots and lots of games and lots of stuff, and more specifically, I'll say it plainly, lots of money. So I knew who Lara Croft was. BAFTA know who, knows who Lara Croft is. I also know who yeah, Lara Croft that's is. That's right. BAFTA, BAFTA gave, gave Lara that crown. <laughs> Oh my gosh, it's so exciting to see she's the most iconic character. Like, that's fantastic. But, um, yeah, so I knew what Tomb Raider was. I was very aware of that. And, oh, that's all it was. It just turned off the, uh, it just turned off the, the fast water. But why would we turn off the rapids? The, but why would we turn off the fast water? That seems weird. I'm going to swim back down in a second. I want to finish talking to chat. Um, there's so, there's an achievement in this room. Somebody called out. I think Orange called out. Um, if you, I think this is the one where you, you have to like get to the surface on the very last possible breath, <gasps> which is pretty easy. <laughs> I was gonna say like, and I somehow missed room. it because I had like three breaths left. All right, I'm going back in. If I drown, I drown. <clears throat> if I drown, I drown. Laura, you'll be fine. It's fine. So yeah, um, the games came out when I was 10 years old, and we did not have a lot going on TM with our financials and whatnot, so I did not have access to a lot of Sega games. Or not Sega games, PlayStation games, or Sega games, because that's what the uh, console was that I had at the time. Wait, so that just turns it back on. Yeah, I'm totally going to drown. I accept this. Lara, I am so sorry. I have accepted that part of your fate with me playing this game is that I am going to kill you. Oh, 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 oh. Come on, Laura. You could do it. You could do it. Uh, uh. All right, there let's move. Go. Let's move. Let's move. I don't think I'm gonna make it this time. Um, and so, being hired at Crystal Dynamics, I have a lot of gaming knowledge just in general. I have a lot with platformers. I remember the tank control games in a lot of the PS1 era. I don't think I give myself enough credit for how much breadth that has. Is that really it? I just go down and swim and get a key? I don't think that's right. Yeah. That's that's the water room. <laughs> ne the Neptune room, I'm sorry. What? Almost messed up. We'll save again. Um, oh, a fun game for chat. I said that my husband beat the game. Chat, over or under, how many times do you think he saved before he beat it? My guess, it, was this his first Tomb Raider? <gasps> I loaded. Um, was, yes, it was. Was this his first one? Yes, it was. Uh, my guess is like 320. Oh, you're generous. Chat, what else you got? Did I just mess up? Queen Pistol says 200. Ha, ha, you're generous. Cybercroft just... 400. Ooh. Yo, we're getting warmer. We're getting warmer. Orange, also, I just orange says 757. Oh, no, that's too high. That's too high. That's too high. Brandy, 623. Oh, Brandy's getting closer. You're getting closer. Keep going down. Keep going down. I see a 100. I see a 460s. 460, you need to go up. 460, you need to go up. And I'm glad I'm not the only one. Someone caught what I did, and now they see what I have to do to fix my file. But that's fine. It's it's fine. It means I have to warm up some. Um, let's see. 460, 592. 592 is getting warmer. 592. Go a little bit lower. Go a little bit lower. 546. <laughs> a little bit lower. A little bit lower. I'll give like two more guesses and then I will just tell everyone. 
I'm waiting for some numbers to come in. 543. No, don't do the prices right thing. Yeah. 547. <laughs> Uh, the Lara Ufus hilarious when she bumps her forehead. I think so too. Eight fifteen five forty eight. He saved a grand total of five hundred and I want to say twenty two times. Solid. Not oh. like that jump. Not We're not like doing that. too hot today. <laughs> We're not doing too hot today. I might actually be able to. Hmm. Let me see what this one is sensational i have fixed my errors i don't have to do everything all over so that's a lot of saves so why numbers am i missing something oh i had asked chat to play a game with me tga where i said my husband beat this game over the weekend please guess how many times he had to save and i just revealed that the grand total number of times that he had to save was 522 times Sage says, am I the only one who feels the need to save constantly? No, you are not. No, that you're is, not. You are all of us. Wait, no, you're not for what? For for what aspect? They say, am I the only one who feels the need to save constantly? No, you're not. No, not even a little bit. Again, my husband saved yeah, 522 times. And I'm going to be real with everyone. I respect it. Because I was watching him on the final levels. And um, I mean, some of that platforming gets intense. Some of it gets very, very intense. I'm playing. Uh, I'm playing through Tomb Raider three uh, in, in my free time, and I think I have two more locations to explore: Antar Antarctica and um, South Pacific. And I think I'm already at like 350 mm -hmm. saves. Uh, the other deep lore bit that I'll share with chat that I think is absolutely hilarious. Uh, at current, he, he, of course, is doing them in order. It's his first time playing it as well. And so he decided, oh, I beat Tomb Raider 1. Naturally, I'll go to Tomb Raider 2. I will share my reaction as follows. <clears throat> Hang on, I'm just going to give me a moment. Sage says, RIP to the people who accidentally saved in the middle of Lara dying. Yeah, we've all been there. <clears throat> <laughs> That's my response to him playing Tomb Raider 2. Um, Tomb Raider 2 does not like you. I learned that very quickly. Very quickly. How many keys do I have? Neptune, Thor, Damocles. Is there a fourth door there's in here? One more. Okay. Yeah, there's one more. Oh, Brandy says, Antarctica, let the TR gods be with you. I actually have never completed Antarctica. Tomb Raider 3 is one, one of the only Tomb Raider games I haven't completed the whole way through without, like, level skip, so... Maybe I I'm missed it by like a pixel. That's fine. That's perfectly fine. Um, lots of death, and that's okay. This is fine. Oh, Fond Memories asks if they missed Thor. Yeah, we played through Thor in the last one, I think. Um, but yes, the VOD's up on, on Twitch. Yes, uh, on YouTube. And it's on Twitch. You're right. It's on both. Um, so yeah, we did Thor last time. We did Damocles last time. And we just finished Neptune. And I have apparently forgotten all of my strats on how to play this game. Oh, we've got Hetty in chat. Hi, Hetty. Oh, hi, Hetty. I do not hate the French. If you're in the Discord, please do not believe Hetty's lies. I do not hate the French. This is incorrect. <laughs> it's false. Um, I don't hate we the don't French. We don't bully Hetty. We don't bully Hetty. I do not hate <laughs> the French, which is funny because Hetty sometimes stops by my personal streams, and I know you've seen my BRB video where I literally have a, a certain scene. <laughs> it's from... Um, Paper Mario and the Thousand Year Door. And it's me walking up to someone who is very deliberately French. And my only response is, oh, God, he's French. Atlas, but your door is not open. Whose switch have I not touched? Mm. Oh, I always forget where the switches are in this one. You'll go up and down like 20 times. Yeah, and there's also a, a kitty downstairs. Uh, we need a name for the kitty. We have Pookie, the bear. Pookie is important. Pookie is canon Pookie. now. Please do not do not take that. It's not canon. It's just what we like to call him. Oh, it's canon. Okay, it's fine. Canon. Same with the, the Batlanteans. Oh, They're canon. Do we call them Batlanteans or do we call them something oh, else? Oh, no. Nat Natty's Baddies. Natty's right. Baddies. Natty's That's what they baddies. were. <laughs> Natty's Baddies, Pookie, Poochies, because we didn't want Pookie to feel left out. But now we need a name for the kitties. What are the names for the kitties? What are we going to name them? Yeah. 
We can so give them a Natla nickname. We can start with a P again. Wait, I don't want to use the stick. I want to use look. Now I want to use the stick. Um, I'm going to do this. Probably Orange this says Storm and Tux? Question mark? Storm and Tux for the kitties? They are. They do have the two different kitties, so that could work. Yeah. Oh Maybe my they gosh. get bespoke names, not like species nicknames. Yeah, don't do the species nicknames. That's when you start blending the line between speed running and other stuff, and it becomes weird. Where the flip are those switches? I know that there's another one here. I uh, Tony Piergo says, name one of them Rufus. Not Rufus. Are we going to? No, if you're going to go Rufus, that. I like Rufus. Okay, out of curiosity, why Rufus? I just need to, I just need to see something. Why Rufus? I think I know why Rufus. But I just, I just want to see something. I'm just it's, trying. It's to... giving Kim Possible, I think. There's a couple of options. There's a couple of options. How about Pierre? The oh, oh, Sage. I mean, I I appreciate the alliteration, but that sounds pleasing, and I don't think Pierre is pleasing at all. This is incorrect. This is wrong. Okay, not good. Um, which one is this? It showed nothing. I think the idea is that we want them to all be down. Yeah. Do you guys have... Or just curious? We don't because we are just the community homies. We are team community homies. We're here to provide you with the news and the updates and stuff when we get them. So if we are not telling you stuff, there's a 99.9% .9 chance we don't know nothing about it. We know nothing. Otherwise, we tell you. I just... I just... Making sure that that's clear. All right, we got to cheat for a second. Get back oh, in my Tony says, Tony says they just finished Final Fantasy Rebirth, and Rufus gives me kitty vibes. Is there a Rufus that in is, that game? Yes, there is. That's exactly what I wanted to ask. Oh, I was like, this is giving Final Fantasy VII Rebirth energy. So, counterpoint, I'm going to go off of Rufus. We're going we're gonna to do something different. Instead of Rufus, why don't we give them some names from the Turks? How do you feel about Rude and Elena? Hmm? Hmm? I feel like Rude and Elena gives the spirit of what you're going for. I think we got that. I could be wrong. I'm also in the process of playing uh, Rebirth myself. And I had to force myself to stop because there's too many other indie games I want to play. So in the course of being on my Rebirth hiatus... Hey, boo-boo! Hey, hey uh, Hetty says in chat, Team Community Homies, can you confirm that I'm better than Pierre DuPont? Oh! <sighs> I'm con I just consulted the canon. I don't see it. <laughs> I don't see it. <laughs> um, I will I will bite Hetty. Yes, you are better than Pierre Dupont, but you are still French. That is the offerings that I will give you. You are better than Pierre Dupont, but you are still in fact French. How dare? Is the anime canceled? Oh God. No, what would give hey, you that idea? Yeah, Twin Pistols, thanks for the question. Uh, we, we're we only just playing the uh, the remasters today. We can't really talk about the you know future uh, of the franchise at the moment, but we'll sh we'll share all the, the news and updates on social when, we, when we're able. I think it's this one. It is this one. Hey, yes, yeah. I am, Nessa. I'll accept it. Sensational. I'm glad that we could find an amicable outcome for this, Hetty. Appreciate it. Um... I hope that you continue to be you, except with the French part. <clears throat> All right, so we're going to go to the Atlas room. And then after that, I think we have these puzzles done. I Can I – is it a spicy take to say that I actually do like this level? Not at all. This is like peak Tomb Raider. You got traps. You got gorgeous vista. Oh, my God. Yeah, I actually am really enjoying this level. I am not going to front. Can I reach that? I don't think I can. I think I'm about to go up the old way. Brandy says that's not a spicy take at all. It's oh. very iconic. Yeah, I actually am really enjoying this level. Like this is, this is like peak 1990s types of puzzles and stuff where the idea was actually to do the puzzle. Because there's a lot of stuff I feel like in later games, just in general, not anything in particular, but in general where the puzzle element doesn't get the appreciation it really deserves. You don't get the chance to be like, hey, I'm going to go explore and figure out how to do these things. 
and sometimes you just get a lot of like, whoa, I was expecting to have to climb up that. I almost yeeted myself. Woo. You know what? I think that's a sign. That's a sign. I think we didn't we rank this level in like the top three on our I think so, blog yeah. of like top five Tomb Raider 1 levels ranked. Did y'all like, notice? It's so iconic. Yeah. Did you also notice peak 90s? Almost all the enemies look the same too. Hey, hey, hey. Developers in the 90s were trying their best, okay? <laughs> Laura, please. We're not going to talk about it. We're not going to talk about it. I'm pulling the Brandy. Just load. Says, House Midas is the best level still. Facts. It's one of my favorites from Tomb Raider 1. You're going to love that one. That's the one where you turn Laura gold. I've seen the gold. Okay. Yeah. So this. The jump is too much. Whoa, 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 whoa. Laura, Laura, Laura. Chill, 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 chill. I might be able to just do this. That works too. Good job, Laura. Proud of you. Although I don't know if that really gave us height. It didn't. I need to figure out how to get back up. More ups are needed. So if we went, let's go back over here, boo. Eddie's gassing you up now. He says, Nessa, you're basically a TR pro. Am I? You don't have yeah. to lie to me, Eddie. I am like trying my best. There we go. I was like, I need to remember all the stuff I've learned about how does one climb around and all that. I don't fault the devs. These games were ahead of their time. There's a lot of stuff. Okay, so other fun conversation pieces. Um, hi, yes, hello. Before my job taking here at Crystal Dynamics, I was a temporary, very temporary, full-time content creator and gaming historian. And a lot of people do not really take stock of how ahead of time a lot of stuff in the 90s was like there was a lot of stuff that was pushing a lot of boundaries making a lot of challenges like tomb raider is a very very good example of taking the open world adventure formula and saying but how far can we push that how far can we push that uh enemy design did not really improve until maybe about 2000 give or take <laughs> which i think is just very funny all right hang on a second you know what? I'm deploying. Yeah, obje strats. objectively speaking, as like just a gamer and not someone who works, you know, on Tomb Raider, I think the classic Tomb Raiders were some of the best platformers of their time, the, like 3D platformers. Yeah, I mean, it really set a big time standard. It set a big time standard for, hey, if you want to platform, then come to platform. That's kind of my best yeah. way to say it, because you had games like the Crash Bandicoots, the Spyros, both of which I adore, and you had your Jack and Daxters, you had your Ratchet and Clanks coming through and whatnot, but there was still something about them that felt a little bit more... Spyro couldn't to... do handstands. Huh? Spyro couldn't do handstands. Well, no, that's, but that's spit Ratchet fire. and Clank weren't doing handstands. <laughs> this is true, but they, they had other fun things going for them. See? See? This is why we don't have nice stuff. This is why we don't have nice stuff. Because I always know something's in here. No. So, um, Bam Margra Harrington says, I almost finished my Nomad No Save All Secret run on Tomb Raider 1 yesterday, but they accidentally closed the app messaging a friend. <gasps> no. That has to be I, some I would, of the most... I would have opened the wine, Vanessa. <laughs> I would too. Like, that has to be some <laughs> of the most painful occurrences when you're doing challenge runs and speed runs, especially when you're like near the end and all of a sudden TM, you just look up and it's like, oh, cool, that that doesn't exist anymore. That's neat. All right, something here is not right. Yeah, Tony Pirgo says crash, can't swan dive. Exactly. No. Exactly. That's not okay. That's not okay. What if I just go this way? Just gonna do do do. Do I have to really go up towards that? Because if so, that's rude. Um, what else is behind me? I do. Well, I do have to go towards one. that. Yeah. Uh, okay. You got to become a cookie. I am. We're about to have Lara cakes. <laughs> About to have Lara cakes. Okay. Lara pancakes. It is. All right. Take a second, girl. All right. So it feels like that is the play. 
Oh, we're going to have so much Lara Pate here in a second. Let's go. Let's go. I'm going to save. I'm going to save. We're going to okay, go ahead. And, yeah, good call. Good call. We're, we're going to hit the save. We've already made some Lara briskets and stuff. What have we done? We've done Lara shish kebabs. And we're dead. Because I forgot how to jump. Yep. <laughs> and we're dead. Now you know where the trigger is, right? Yeah, about. Lara crepes Wait. for the French. I wonder if I'm thinking too hard about this. I think I'm thinking too hard about this. I want to try something. Nope, I'm not thinking too hard about it. Okay. Almost. <laughs> no, because I just realized I can't get up there. Did a nice one-two step before getting flattened. Lara pancakes, yes. I see where that is. Wait. Yeah, I wait, think wait. there is. I think it is possible to swan dive over that boulder. But it's it's really precise. Nice. Gaming. We're in there. God tier. We're gaming. Okay. God tier. Gonna save. Gonna save. Gonna push the right buttons. Nessa is trying to do the unintended but cool way to solve this puzzle. So Hetty, I had someone in my channel last night because I just started a run of um what am I playing? Guacamelee. I just started Guacamelee for the first time. It's a Metroidvania, so it's like a very, very Vanessa-coded game. Very Vanessa-coded. I love Metroidvanias. Um, quite literally, there was maybe four different instances in the chat where people were just like, we just appreciate that at every possible opportunity, we just appreciate that at every possible opportunity, you're trying to sequence break. And the thing is, I'm not intentionally trying to sequence break. It's just, I'm a challenge runner. Sequence breaking is what I do. <laughs> it's just in my blood. It's in my essence. Uh, that's how I operate in life. I can't go up here. I don't like that. <sighs> fine, 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 fine. I think uh, you have all the keys now, so you can, I can go, go back go down, down to the, the cats we didn't name yet. No, I thought that I wanted to see what the one person said about Elena and Rude. So for context, for those of you who don't know, Elena and Rude are also characters in Final Fantasy VII Rebirth, and they are part of a squad called the Turks. They're part of the Turks. Uh, the Turks are, despite being villains, the homies. They're really just the cool kids that you wanted to hang out with and you never could. I'm just keeping it a stack. Everyone likes the Turks, even though it's like, ugh, they're going to kill us. I thought that there wasn't a step there, and I got scared. Um, so, I just hope that Pierre's not down here. Oh, Brandy, hold on. Brandy wants to save your life. She's asking if you saved. Brandy, bless you. Brandy, bless you. Also, for people in chat, if you don't watch Brandy play this game, please get your life correct. Please get your life correct. Go watch Brandy play the game. Actually God tier. Actually pro. But most importantly, extraordinarily funny. All right, kitties, where are you at? Brandy, what uh, what game are you you on right now? Actually, I'm curious. Um. Also, uh, Bam Margaret Harrington asks, who who else here loves Miss Sophia Lay? Oh, oh. He's a baddie from Tomb Raider Three, and she's uh, she's main character energy. We love her. Gone too soon. MC. I wish Larson looked better on his updated model. He looks like Cutter in the 1996 model. To be fair, after Larson opens his mouth, I'm just going to keep it a stack. I don't know that that's something that you can save, sweetheart. I'm just going to keep it real with you. <laughs> Literally, like, when Larson started talking, that is not the voice I expected. And I just had moments of sitting there and being like, you, you live like this? That's, ooh, that's choices. But okay, go off, King. Go off, King. Sound like you about to spit into the little, like, tobacco jar every three words. What did you expect him to sound like? I'm curious. I don't know. Maybe a little bit more gruff. More of a deep-voiced kind of individual. Where it's just, like... It, it's... I just didn't expect super, like, super, super country. I just didn't expect that. 
much more kind of like monotone or maybe even English. I think that's what it, yeah. I wanted him to be English and not straight out of like, like 90s Texas. Oh, there you are, Elena. I thought I heard you. Hey girl. Get in range though. I'm not going down there. Get in range though. Oh. Do you have um any other guns yet? I, I do. I have um I have the shotgun. I have the shotgun, shotgun. but my ammo is precious, so I'm not using it. Okay, I've lost my patience. Let's go, Elena. Get into Yeah, you're it. gonna want that shotgun in uh some of the future levels. Spoilers. Alright. What's a heavy country man doing in Lara's British presence? She's so elegant and he's just Larson. That I mean, that's it. That's the whole energy. That's Yeah. That describes it entirely. Because she's out here living her best life trying to get the ski on. By the way, I always thought that was Scion. But I think that's just a different pronunciation based on what you're talking about and or looking at. Um, and he just comes out here and I'm like, you know, I just feel like I just feel like instead of being here, you should be somewhere trying to get tex -Mex. Are you in the wrong game? BB, are you sure you're supposed to be here? I don't think he's supposed to be here. And you We've got Riza in chat. <gasps> hi, Riza. My other bestie, Riza. She doesn't know that, but also, hi, how are you? I hope you're well. The actual Tomb Raider queen, actual Tomb Raider god in chat. Per usual, please go follow Riza as well. I did too. Pronounced it as a kid. Pronounce it. Yeah, I thought it was Scion. And he's like the Skion. And I'm like, oh. I feel like I might still be right, but. Mm, mm. I would say Riz yeah, and Brandy. Yeah, that one keeps me up at night too. Riz and Brandy should be besties. He is out of 90s Texas. Oh! Pierre, don't do it. Pierre? Pierre? This is me praying that this is the no, end of the he's, level. He's, he's not hassling you. Pierre never comes back. Don't he lie to me enough. like that. Don't lie out loud to me like that. I know that Pierre comes back. <laughs> Larsa isn't really educated. He might be mispronouncing... I hadn't thought of it that way. That's a valid point. That's actually kind of a valid point. Oh, I'm trying not to pull the Damn, MD. Margaret Harrington says, I I can't wait for the Tony Hawk wannabe enemy later. Okay, so There's I do know literally, about... Uh, I do know about Skater Well, oh, you've seen it. I've seen Skater, Skater Dude. Skater Dude, yeah. I have seen Skater Dude, and I am with the masses on this one. I already have decided I hate Skater Dude. I have never even seen him in my game. I've never spoke to him. I've never graced him with my presence. But I have decided, yes, he is a Bammer B. I do not like Skater Dude. I don't like him. I think that he smells like wet socks and sweaty toilet paper. And that's what I'm going to say about that. When, when we started TikTok, like one of the first ideas I had was doing uh, a video with him and Lara to Avril Lavigne's Gator Boy, but uh, license music. We can't. Yeah, TikTok's really, really harsh about that. And they've been cracking down more on it too. But then this is yeah. like, this is like one of my personal gripes about that conversation, right? I get it. I understand, I resonate, and I feel why we are like this. I just wish that for the free-to-use music, we had better options. Because as, as someone who has to, without going into a lot of details, spend a lot of her time on Steam, oh, you hear the same loops over and over, and I'm just... Sometimes the music does not fit what you're doing and we just need to come to terms with that Pierre you're lucky I can't use my guns in water because I use it as a protection metric you are now in one of my favorite Tomb Raider 1 levels I love this level so much this is the Coliseum we're in the Coliseum I'm happy because it gives the indie artist a spot yes yeah, sweaty listen um Ichigo I regret to inform you this, but also I need to inform you this. As you spend more time around me specifically, 
you will find that I have a description. Oh my god! Whoa, 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 whoa! <laughs> chill, 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 chill! It's Timba. Oh my god. I mean, if you're just gonna circle, that's also very cool. I feel like he got himself killed. I didn't even have to stunt on him. He got himself killed. He just wanted to give you a hug. He just I don't, wanted to give you a hug. I don't do hugs. Um, I, I don't do hugs, actually. I'm allergic to them. Hugs make my body itch. I can't I can't do hugs. Sage Sage says, rule of Tomb Raider, guns always out. Facts. Correct. New room, your guns are out. New level, your guns are out. Oh, what's that? You are thinking about going into this area and exploring? Have you considered putting your guns out? I just, I still panic a little bit and forget what my buttons are. Mm -mm. Bad kitty. Bad kitty. So I see some people in chat talking about Aldwich, which is this level in Tomb Raider 3 where there's, uh, Lara has to go down subway tunnels and there are trains that trigger if you go too far. It's like the ultimate jump scare. Um, that's evil. We love that. We love that's, that witch. that's horrendous. Are you serious? Yeah. That's disgusting. Oh no, there's options. Um, we're keeping the guns out just to be safe. Oh, see, this is why we kept the guns out. Oh, I disagree with all of that. I'm getting the big pack. This is This is why we keep the guns out. Rizza, don't be laughing at me. It's my first time. Be nice to me. <laughs> I'm trying so hard. Hmm? Is there gonna be another kitty? That one I literally think just lives there to troll you. Like I don't think you ever actually have to go back down this hallway. You can open up that gate later, I think. Mm -hmm. but, but it's it's optional. He's just there to be a hater. Classic Tomb Raider was always a horror game without being labeled as such. So, Chris, there's a funny little take about that in the speedrunning community. So, I am good friends with a gentleman by the name of Ekdysis, and he's a very well-known... Chris says, uh, Classic Tomb Raider was always a horror game without being labeled as such. Yes, yes, Truth. yes, yes. I think that you're uh, delayed a little bit. So, I am friends with a gentleman. His name is Ekdysis, and he is a very large horror speedrunner. And so when I got the job at Crystal Dynamics, he was very excited because he was like, oh, that's dope. I love Tomb Raider. And I was like, wait, what? You love Tomb Raider? He's like, yeah, I love Tomb Raider. That's like one of my favorite games. And I was like, Ignisus, you're a horror streamer. He's like, oh, that's the pipeline. All horror speedrunners start as Tomb Raider players because Tomb Raider is a horror game. And I was like, Ignisus, that doesn't make sense. He was like, no, it makes perfect sense. You just don't understand. And I was like, uh, okay, if you say so. And ever since then, I've been educated on that. That Tomb Raider is a horror game. Okay, I can't go up here. I can't go up here. It's time to actually start exploring a little bit. I can't go up there. Can you make this? And not. Oh, that's way high. I don't know what I was thinking about. Uh, there are definitely some jump scares. Yeah, no, there's been a few times. Like, even this... The, the kitty coming out and acting up like this, I consider that a jump scare. But I jump scare so easy. I jump scare extraordinarily easy. This is why I, I tend not to play horror games, because I'm someone that I am always just, like, hiding behind my hand, and I'm like, please don't kill me, knowing good and well, I'm probably going to get killed. Alright, um, let's see... Girl, you fine. Oh, so I didn't finish this story. So yeah, my husband started Tomb Raider 2, and he's like, yo, Tomb Raider 2 is violent. And I ha I'm inclined to agree. I'm inclined to agree, because the first level came out spicy. Like, tigers? Spiders? All at once? There's a swimming section? And there's more tigers? What are we doing? Why are we doing this? It was so much. And then the the trap gauntlet at the very beginning is so wild to witness. There's just so much. There has to be some type of latch or something out here. I need to explore better. 
Um, so I came up that way. Where are some things that look like they are climbable and jumpable? Oh, these poles are not doing me any services. Any services. I wonder if this is one of those walls that I can climb across. Yeah, so you're, uh... You're on the outside of the Colosseum, and the level takes you into and through the Colosseum, and it's really cool. It had such a glow up in the remasters. Oh, speaking of. Uh, uh, uh. I just don't know how to pay attention. <laughs> Cookie. Found something. All right, so this was not just for naught. All right, I'm going to go back down then. There has to be a switch that I just do not see. Actually, let's do that. We'll play in the original graphics for a little bit. Okay, so this is yeah. where we, we beat up the kitty. That's what I need. Uh-oh, we got a Tina in chat. There's a Tina in chat. Oh my god. Hello, another icon. There's a Tina in chat. We're saved. There's so many icons in chat. Actually cute chat. The cutest chat. Love this for all of us. Yeah, I was going to say, that doesn't work. We're getting this. Tina, I'm in the Coliseum, and I'm already at a spot where I'm just like, I just want the Switch, and you're not letting me. You're not letting me, and I don't like that. All right, we're deploying the camera. We're deploying the camera. All right, so we saw that there's a Switch over here. Also, mm -hmm. I noticed some people tend to frown on it because... You know, I can use the camera to see where to go. But in 2024, the year of our savior, Beyonce, I, I could not be more grateful. I could not be more oh, grateful. Oh, no, I love this feature. because It prevents you from having to do so much backtracking. Yes. And, like, you there's still... You kind of look ahead here. And, and there's least. still a world where you have to use things like Stella Guides to really figure out, hey, where actually am I going? All right. There's that. There's that. This is where we came in. I'm just gonna make sure I didn't miss a latch somewhere. Oh, this is nice. This is nice. Um, because even in cases like this, the camera can't always help you. Am I about to pull out? Is it is it baby's first attempt at the Stella guide? Wait a minute. Okay, we got some platforming. So there's. You found a, you found a cookie. I found a cookie. Oh, that seems like it's gonna be rough. But there is stuff to climb up here ah i think that might be a secret don't quote me yeah do you, i don't think i can make that jump that seems mondo high yeah i can't make that i don't think i can make that i think that's just higher up but i can make this i can absolutely make this target acquired Target acquired. My favorite community color. Oh, hi. I need tips for RX Tech Mines. Swim at the end. I don't know how to do it without burning one met pack. Oh, you're talking about challenge runs. So, okay. I, I'm, I'm quietly entertaining it. I have to get through the games comfortably first. And right now, this is my first ever casual, no tips, no hints, unless, of course, I ask, playthrough. Lara, please. Lara, please. Begging you, crying, throwing up, screaming. I don't think, I don't think I have it in me personally to do a new no saves run. But I would do something like uh, pistols only, uh, no meds. I think I think I could do that. Yeah, I feel like pistols. No only, saves is like next level. I feel like pistols only is a good entry point for the challenge runs on a personal tangent because that's the equivalent of saying, "Hey, I beat the game without finding any of my guns," right? Pistols, I think, would be the first start, the first step. Step two would be pistols and then no med packs. And then step three, I think, is pistols, med packs, and no saves. But by then, that's a yeah. monster-sized knowledge check. And knowledge checks are super critical to challenge runs and speed runs. This is fine. We're going to save. We're, we're platforming. Yeah, I was just going to say. We're platforming. We need a fun, a fun code word for when we save like flamingo like flamingo yeah and then you know let me see here rx tech will probably be my fastest time because i'm so serious wait brandy are you jumping in on the speed run wagon 
did I miss that? I felt like you were starting to, and then you were just kind of playing casually and having a good time. Is Brandy a speedrunner now? Ooh. Do I go for the shotgun shells? Um, yeah, you saved. Why not? Okay. I feel like that's a little... Is that too slanted? I have a flat spot here. I'm going to step forward. Yeah, thank you for the question, Ichigo. We can't talk about anything in the future right now. We're just playing the game. Just uh, hanging out. For CR1 only right now, though? Oh, goodness. Riz is a challenge run pro. I've seen the challenge runs. I've witnessed them. I've witnessed them. At some point, I'm going to have to just make the delineation on my Twitter and flat out say, by the way, you know that I'm the community coordinator and this is my username, right? All right. I'm trying to think. I'm trying to think. Yeah, that's too slanted. That's too slanted. I cannot land on that. That's useless. That'll put me back to the bottom. Just, just swan dive. I'm not swan diving, even though that's the title of the stream. That's the title of the stream. Always <clears throat> swan dive. Oh my gosh. What's Rappikins? I need to know this. I would like more intel. Uh, thanks for hanging out, Tony. <laughs> ah, bollocks. I don't think I could save that. Yeah, I can. Biscuits. 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 Okay. Listen, I'm trying to remain as PG as I humanly can, okay? <laughs> You're out here making chat hungry, talking about biscuits and cookies. Oh, that's pancake. That's, that's very pate. normal occurring. I I live and breathe off of a personalized channel where if you don't tell me about your food you will get actually beat up a little bit. It's like, no, we, we stand food in this house. If you're eating something, I need to know about it immediately and what you're eating specifically. If you're eating pizza, I need to know your toppings. If you're having a burger, I want to know what's on it. Mm. Mm. I just finished Shadow of the Tomb Raider, 10 out of 10. Oh, sensational. I love this for you. What were some of your favorite parts? I want to know. I would like to hear it. Oh, what Obviously, do you mean it's a corner? The oil rig. Ah, the what corner strats are killing me. Okay. Do this, do this. Wait a minute, do I need to do that? Time. Is it another Oh, episode? chat's talking about what they're eating right now. Oh, Orange is having Twizzlers. Oh, I love Twizzlers. Cybers, drinking coffee. And eating... eating... <gasps> what kind of mochi? mochi? Oh, I love mochi. I adore mochi. I haven't had it in so long because I've been trying to get... Once you get old, you have to watch how you eat. You have to watch how you eat. So I can't eat nearly as much mochi. Um, TR25 was such a serve. We are so grateful for it. Let me see. Um, okay, that was already answered. I'm a basic bitch. I only eat burgers with cheese and meat with the buns. Don't take a lot to make me happy. You know what, though? I respect that. You know what you like. And that's acceptable. I love that for you. I love that for you. You're not out here for no frills and no nonsense. You are here to get stuff done. You want your burger your way. That's okay. That's okay. The witch level is my favorite. There's, There's what they like. Level? There's a witch level? Maybe I can make that from right here. In I don't think shadow? I yeah, that's too high. I'm going to give this one more spot of thinking, and then I'm going to move on, because it's just shotgun shells, and I haven't used mine. Oh, yeah. Tomb Raider 2. I learned that you start with the shotgun, and that was really nice. And Paul ran out of his bullets for his shotgun immediately. Immediately. Because he used them on the Tigers. And he was just like, I don't know why this game hates me. And I'm like, I mean, it's a 90s game. Of course it hates you. Yeah. <laughs> no! I made it to where I needed to be! Yeah. yeah, if you if you stick to pistols only for, like, the first third of the game, then your resources are... You're so supplied for the rest of the game. Okay, so she can make that. Okay, I was thinking too hard. Everyone who's surprised, raise your hand. Lara's raising her hand because she's... The Dark Knight... 
the Dark Knight asks, after completing the remastered trilogy, will you guys play LAU? I'd love to. So here's my thought process on that, right? Whoop! Lara, please. Get back up there. Um, I want to get through one through three. And I want to play LAU. I want to play as many of them as I can. But here's the caveat, chat. Here's the caveat, right? If we continue doing streams the way that we've been planning, and I get through one through three, we're gonna have to, we're probably gonna have to ask for your help on a decision on this, right? Because the question becomes, do we do LAU or do we do challenge runs of one through three? Hmm? 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 I'm just, I'm just saying the options are out there. The options are out there. It's very feasible. It's very possible. Brandy says she wants to see you play AOD. Oh God. That's a fun one. That... There's some really tough platforming in, in Angel of Darkness. Let's see those pistols only runs. Those are fun to be honest. See, I love challenge runs. I think challenge runs are super fun, but also, okay, I'm past it. I'm not getting those pistol. I'm not getting those uh, shotgun bullets no more. I will look it up. Stella will help me. Tina will help me and Stella will help me. And they'll be like, all you had to do was this. You were like one jump away. And I'll be like, of course yeah. I was. <laughs> I think you're really close, by the way. I, I figured. I figured. Are those alligators? Yeah. Sir, you are out of the water. What did we name, name them? We did name them. I was just about to say we named them. I don't remember oh. what we named them. We'll have yeah, to go back and check out. the pod. Why is there just an alligator right here? Oh, that's stressful. And he... Yeah. <laughs> it's his sister. Well, now they're together forever. And that's where I'm going to leave that. Um, but yeah, I love doing challenge runs. I think challenge runs are super fun. But chat, you have to understand, I have extraordinarily heavy bias because I'm a Bloodborne challenge runner. So like... Oh, God. Brandy I, called them Phil and Lil. I love it. Yes. <laughs> yes. Ship it. We're shipping that immediately. Okay, so this was really just for a health... No, there wasn't... There's no way that was just for a health pack. Yeah, you can you can climb over you can climb over it. Jesus, take the wheel! I can't believe this. I cannot believe this. Lara, please don't do this right now. Ooh, she's she's finicky. Lara, please, I'm begging you, work with me, not against me. I'm already bad at the game. I don't need you to make me look worse. Can you reach that one? You could. I, I can't believe there's just alligators right here. I need to step back one. Is it? Oh, not Amor Akbar. We got Ak Aki entering the chat. She can make this jump. There you go, boo. You got it, girl. I'm not going back down there. I wonder if that's going to be too slanted. This is way too slanted. Um. The original Battletoads. You say what? Someone says they beat the original Battletoads. It's a challenge in and of itself. I've never played Battletoads. Um, save your, your mental energy. Battletoads is an evil, evil game. Why is that? <laughs> so it's an old school beat em up style game on the, correct me if I'm wrong, I think it's a Super Nintendo Genesis. It's in that timeline in that era in particular. And, um,. <laughs> The problem with Battletoads, like I've said previously, is that it's a 90s game. It is extraordinarily hard. Extraordinarily hard. And there's a couple of levels that stand out in the community in particular that are just like, this is where dreams go to die. Um, one of them is a level where you have to ride like hover bikes, and it goes extremely fast. It goes extremely fast. And um, um, just making sure. Will you get up here from here? No, you won't. Okay, I was just gonna do this. Um, 
it's super hard and evil. There's a hover bike level that's extremely fast. And I mean, when I say life comes at you fast, I mean that very seriously. And that level, life comes at you fast. And then the final boss, it's like, oh, there's just so many things going on at once in that instance. And it's it's just, it's a lot. It is a lot. So yeah, kudos to beating Battletoads, because that's the... That's the realest of real challenge runs. Do you remember the first game you ever beat all the way through? Sonic the Hedgehog 2. I don't have to think about that. It's really? Sonic the Hedgehog 2. Sonic the Hedgehog 2 is the first game I beat all the way through. And it's also the first game I ever started doing completionist stuff on. Um, hey. And then I'm going to push it back to chat because I want to know your first games that you beat. Fun fact! Sonic the Hedgehog 2. You can actually get all seven Chaos Emeralds before you finish Emerald Hill Zone 2. Or not, Green Hill Zone 2. You can actually get all of it and be done. Super Sonic for the rest of the game. Because why not? I've played a lot of Sonic 2. It's a problem. Um, but yes, I need to know, chat. What was the first game you beat? And then secondly, if you had interesting runs, what was the first game you ever did and interesting run in a speed run a challenge run a run where you decided not to use things a run where you decided i'm not going to kill anything a pacifist run in a game where you could very well not be a pacifist i used to like low-key speed run kingdom hearts because <sighs> when we got it was my first playstation 2 game and we didn't have a memory card so every time i played it i'd have to start over from the beginning so i was like how fast can i play through these levels to get to something i haven't seen before yes yes Kingdom Hearts is a fantastic speed run, by the way. A wonderful speed run. Kingdom Hearts 1 and 2 are wonderful speed runs. Um, let me see here. Free Bird Song and Tomb Raider is my legendary combo. Woof! You getting stuff done with that. First game I beat was the Little Mermaid game on Ness. Oh my god! That's such a throwback. I think I had that in a, a speed running gauntlet I had done before. My first challenge run is Resident Evil 3, no damage, that also did handgun only run. I have a very good friend. A very good friend who does I see a monkey we didn't name the monkey um, who does uh, Resident Evil challenge runs as a matter of fact I almost said a profanity yep. I almost said a profanity <laughs> you raggedy raggedy it's our boy no nah, it ain't it's my our boy. boy get away from me nah 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 get done up oh I wish I could kill you right now I wish you would die right now. You, oh, you. I he did it. He's gone now. He never comes back. Oh, smelly jacket. I hate him. Mercs on Genesis. Crash Bandicoot 3 is my top three games to speed run. Ooh, I bet you yeah, that's a good run. Good one. Yeah, sorry, y'all keep seeing me look to the side. It's because I'm reading off of my phone. I have chat up. Uh, for me, it was the original Metroid and then Dragon Warrior. Dragon Quest 1. I have stories about that. The many, many challenge runs of Final Fantasy. Which Final Fantasy? The first one? Such as learning how to cha class change super early and beating the game at very low level. Uh, I didn't even know there was a Little Mermaid game. There's always a game, Brandy. There's oh, always I, a game. I love the Little Mermaid 2 Return to the Sea, the video game. It's like one of my faves. PlayStation 1. Also, if you're here to see like quick combat and gameplay i am so sorry because this is me in a nutshell i love talking to chat i love talking to chat show the um do the og graphics here because the difference in this uh area is sounding i just love all the areas in general that have like you can see the script not scriptures the sculptures or the reliefs and they're much more defined now all right we got one monkey yeah. down we need to name the monkey chat uh we have elena Elena's checking on her monkey friend. Phil and Lil. Mm hmm. No, that's the alligators. That's Phil and Lil. Yeah. That's Phil and Lil. Oh, I thought you were listing the ones we've named so far. Yes, 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 yes. Um, wait, hang on. Elena? Okay, Elena's out. Oh, we got Elena squared. Elena squared. I might go down there. I don't feel. You can do it. Oh, is that I might go down there now? Just swan dive. I'm not going to swan dive. I'm gonna save first though. Um, let me read some more chat. Final Fantasy One, yes. Now I have to go find this. When you think you're uh, safe from the French, they pop up out of nowhere. Orange understands my agony. I thought I was safe. It would be fine if he was like throwing foods at me. Then I wouldn't care. But he is not throwing foods at me. I'm actually not gonna drop down there because I want to explore stuff up here first. You know what? Um, Rude can stay for a second. 
Ryu can stay for a second. I want to explore some stuff. Um, I do have to unfortunately say, I think it's this level. It might not be this level. Is this the one that has the big sphinx in it? No, not yet. Okay, it's later. I did see the secret for that that was wild. I actually was proud of myself because something that people... Nope, nope, get away from me. Get away from me. You good? Okay. Um, something that people, I think, don't appreciate about being a streamer. Streamers who are in chat will be able to attest to this. There's something that kind of, like, happens to your brain when you're streaming a game versus when you're watching a game. Because streaming this... Streaming this, I feel like I don't know how to traverse anything. I don't know how to find anything. I am lost. I am confused. I'm just like, how puzzle do? How I mine for fish. But the second that I was watching Paul play, it was like my third eye just opened. And so he was on the level that has the giant sphinx. And he saw the Uzis. And he's just like, he looks at me and says, babe, is that a glitch? And I was like, no. Like, no hesitation. I was just like, no. And he's like, how do you know that that's not a glitch? And I was like, I just know. It's not a glitch. He's like, well, what am I supposed to do? And I was like, invisible platforms exist. And I know for a fact that when I get to that level while I'm live, my brain is not going to do that. It is not going to do that. It's going to immediately be like, ah, ah, I don't understand why the Uzis are in the air. Yeah. What's going <laughs> on? I'm going to tell. I need to call a spire. But when I was watching him, immediately i was like no nah, that's that's totally an invisible platform you need to find a platform that's lined up with it and just jump to it it'll be fine and lo and behold he well, did. we got some science in chat they they're calling it mental processing load while chatting and basically doing additional things it's harder to concentrate on what you're playing Mhm. Mm mm -hmm. oh can we get the link to i think the link to the discord should be in our about section is it not orange yep if you go to um, the about section on our Twitch profile, um, should take you there. Swag. I was going to say, I was like, are we the drama? I don't want to be the drama. That's terrible. Oh, I'm going to try and say your name. Is it Shababa Croft? Shababa Croft? Greetings Shababa. and salutations. How are you today? Happy Friday. Hey. Hello. Chat. I always have to ask. I'll this. say bye. Um, bye to Cybercroft. Thanks for hanging oh, out. Oh, bye, Cybercroft. Bye. It's called um, mental. Oh, I see what you're talking about. The comment you made. James, it's digital things. It's harder to concentrate on what you're playing, and that's just normal. And see, I feel like that's kind of more of the fun with challenge runs and stuff too, because you get to do those things, and you're so well versed in the game that it becomes like a second nature feeling. Like if we were streaming Bloodborne right now, if we were streaming oh Bloodborne right now. Oh, I love Bloodborne. I can talk through Bloodborne and not even have to focus. My favorite thing to do in Bloodborne is go to the first fight and no-hit him. Father Gascoin is my favorite no-hit fight. Because the music bangs. Bangs! He's such an interesting character from a lore standpoint. But, oh no, I bully him for sport. I bully him for sport. It's so good. And I love talking to chat while it's happening. There's a clip, actually, on my channel explicitly where I am in comfy mode. I have on like a sleepy hat and just a chill shirt. And we were shocking to no one talking about food. We were talking about food. And the music pops in for Father Gascoin. I literally looked at my chat and said, oh, give me one minute. I pulled out my saw cleaver, proceeded to bully him, no hit him in one minute flat and came back and said, okay, so anyway, we're going to talk about macaroni and cheese. And I just kept talking like I didn't just do that. And to have that type of knowledge on deck, it, it's, oh, whoa, whoa, uh -huh, almost backed uh -huh. into some nonsense. Watch out. Oh. Oh. Spoilers, spoilers. There's lots of spoilers. Oh, oh. Well, I have to figure out how to traverse down here now, don't I? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I don't think the fake grab is going to save me here. See, it's like a, a gladiator pit. It, this it whole... really is. Yeah. I also encouraged my husband to uh, cheat a little bit. I'm not going to front. Uh, there was a Eddie's, section... Eddie's trying to cancel you. I think you should Excuse defend me? yourself quick. Yeah. Excuse me? Excuse me? I will ban you, sir? 
sir, I will ban then you. That's make the whole box. I was like, I'll, box. I'll box you in the middle of a Wendy's parking lot. I'll ban you and make the note that just says he's French, and that's it. All right, I have to figure that out though. So we can't just drop down. We'll have a Lara kebab. There's a little bit of space on the area ahead of me and to my left. There's shenanigans afoot. And mm -hmm. I think I have to do that way because if I go down this hole, it's just a dead end. I don't think the... Well, is the other one a dead end? I'm pretty sure. I thought it was. Mm. I'd fight you too, Nessa, by the way. Why do y'all want to fight me? Like, what is wrong with you? <laughs> Why do you want to fight me, Hetty? That's such a weird stance. It's like, yeah, I want to box a community coordinator at Crystal Dynamics, MBD. Brandy wants to know why Wendy's. Why Wendy's? <laughs> Which, actually. So it's just a running gag that I have in my community, if I'm being honest. Um, I love Wendy's. I love their spicy nuggets. Oh. Your Wendy's is like my Chili's. I'm like, I'm always down for fajitas and $5 margaritas. Oh my God. I forget what I... Not you watched her die! Oh. Let's just keep on jumping. Ma'am. Yeah, okay, there we go. There you go. I will say, um, I just have Wendy's on the brain at all times. Uh, what was I playing? When I was playing Guacamelee yesterday, I had a vicious craving for margaritas like everything about the game it's so well like hispanic and mexican culture coded that i just as i was playing it i was like i just i could do a margarita and that would be fine pierre don't do it i ooh, ooh. i'm always on the lookout now there we go Pierre, monkeys, what are we about to get into? I know it ain't going to be clear over here. Oh, it's just this. Mm-hmm. Uh-oh, you hear it. Mm-hmm. Simba up there. Do we have a Simba? Where are you at? Oh, come on. There's three. Three. Okay. Do you have shotgun ammo left? I do. Or, I'm, just, doing? I'm just refraining from using. Oh, this says empty slot. What are we doing? Let me actually <laughs> look at my shotgun situation. I have 13 shots. I want to hold them, though. I, I, I like holding on to stuff just in case. Wendy's chili cheese fries. It's the spicy nugs. Okay. I could talk about food forever. If you're in the U.S. and you have a Wendy's, but what's your go-to order? Because mine is spicy nuggets with a small fry and a chocolate frosty. That's my go-to order. That's my. Thanks for hanging order. out, Riza. Bye, Riza. Thanks for hanging. She says to tell Pierre to be nice. But Pierre, Pierre doesn't to... come back, so you won't be able to. All right, let's get into it. I'm gonna run this way a little bit. I knew that was gonna happen. Ah, I'm gonna help back. Dark Knight says if they don't have the strawberry lemonade, cancel the entire order. Yo, that's the same energy as whenever stuff is like out of order. Like we joke about McDonald's always being out of order, right? Wow! Uh, <gasps> oh, oh my god! You did that. I'm gonna you save. I'm gonna <laughs> save right now. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Actual god gaming hours! Putting the, the guns Tomb Raider down! Gods <laughs> said yes. <laughs> oh, that was quality. <laughs> Please someone in chat clip that. Please someone clip that. You ever run from tigers and accidentally progress? Because that's what we do on this channel. Oh my god! The cheating was unintended but so cool. And Riza just left. As the challenge run queen, she would be able to answer if that is intentional for, like, a challenge run. Because I bet you they skip the kitties and just are like, no, we're just going downstairs. Oh, my. Wow. Wow. 
I'm impressed with me right now. That was right clutch. Now. That was so clutch. Um, let's see. Wait, I got disoriented. Here, here. Okay, so it's right here. There we go. I just hope they don't spawn more kitties on top of the ones I didn't kill. Because that would be, make me sad. Dan wants to know if there's going to be another stream. Yes. yes. Um, we try to do them every other week. It might be off. We might um, go off cadence, though, because I'm, I'm taking a road trip. Are you taking a road Grand trip in two weeks? Oh. Yeah. See the Grand Canyon in uh, next or two Fridays from now. Okay. Excited. Yeah, we'll figure something out then, because we try to do them yeah. every other week. And, you know, sometimes we have life, sometimes we have meetings. Sometimes we have life and meetings. Now I'm just gonna cheat. This isn't fair to them. But I've learned that Tomb Raider as a game isn't fair, so it's fine. Um, <clears throat> come on. You're, you, okay, there we go. So we try to do them every other Friday, and we try to do them at 9 a.m. Pacific time. And, yeah, it's, it's, it's been a journey. I, I'm still... I cannot believe I just made that jump and actually got away with a slither of health. A slither. That was so clutch. <sighs> All right. Let's say um, bring lots of water. I'm going to pack lots of sunscreen. Sunscreen, water. Do. Like, it, it doesn't hurt to get, like, those big canteens of water when you're doing stuff like that because that's going to be serious business. Um, I have one of those, like, those, like, hydration packs. You wear, like, a backpack. Yeah. So. Yeah do that for sure like even here in colorado um even here in colorado they they take their stuff seriously to the point where we have in breckenridge especially they have like oxygen bars like they take do they it. actually mm -hmm. like a tomb raider game yeah they have oxygen bars not like that <laughs> i mean an <laughs> actual bar <laughs> for oxygen Ah. <laughs> uh can't believe I rolled face first into that. Um, but yeah, Breckenridge is beautiful, and but they have oxygen bars to make sure because they know that people aren't used to the elevation. Mm. Reading some chat. This is so exciting. I've always wanted to see the Grand Canyon. Yeah, that's one of the ones that's on our hit list too for the boy and I. I don't know why I jumped, but nothing bad happened from it, so we're gonna just rock with it. Uh. Yeah. I see an area over there, but I don't know mm -hmm. if I want to, because yeah, it's this section. This feels inviting. Oh, this feels like it was a sauna until you added the monkey. Like why? <laughs> uh, okay, this is fine. Wait, did we decide on monkey names? We didn't. <sighs> Chat, help us out. <clears throat> what do we name the gorilla? Oh uh, gosh. What was that movie with the gorilla in the 90s? There's a movie with a gorilla in the 90s? Yeah, like the kids' movie. Oh, um, that's so specific. Mighty Joe Young. Mighty Joe Young. Oh, God. I forgot that was a thing that existed. I didn't oh, go this way yeah. previously. There's going to be a boulder up here, and I'm going to die, and it's going to be great. It's a door? Drax door? says Kong. Oh, God. Did anyone see the most recent Godzilla vs. Kong movie? I haven't, but I've heard many, many good things. I've heard many good things. And I fell down from there, and it makes me sad, so I have to redo all of this. Every time Lara runs into a wall and grunts like it's the world's hardest wall, it cracks me up. King Kong? Maybe we should try jumping into the spikes more often. No! No! That was a fluke. That was a fluke. We are not going to pretend that was anything but a fluke. Please don't send me to more spikes. Oh, my. I just flashed Whoa. that whole scene back in my head. All right, so we got to kill these again. I think I see the critical path. I think I see where I was supposed to go. I got to kill these kitties first, though. Hang on a second. Baba says Harambe. We oh, God, the not, Harambe we're not timeline. Touching that one. Yeah. <laughs> no, don't do the Harambe timeline. I beg of you. Too soon. Bye, chat. Hopefully, Von Croy doesn't steal the artifact from you. All right, fam. Thank you so much for hanging. And I also want to say I love your name reference. Have a good rest of your Friday. All right, so we're here. Wait, what's the what's the name reference? I didn't pick it up. Bam Margera, I want to say, is somebody who's from a show called uh, Jackass. I'm allowed to say that because it's the name of the show. 
I am not. It's a proper noun, so you're allowed. This is. Oh, Brandon says, "What's the gorilla's names from Tarzan?" I remember <gasps> Turk. Turk yes. was the fun one. Mhm, mm mhm, mm mhm. Ah, uh, but what were the, what were like the parent gorillas? That I don't names? know. But I forgot entirely until this moment that there was. Ooh, Laura, are you okay, girl? I forgot that there was even uh, gorillas in Tarzan. I'm gonna be real with you. Completely forgot. But that just shows you how much my memory is intact. Okay, so let's do this. Let's save. You you have to do those uh, Kingdom Hearts speedruns because you'd play through the Tarzan level and you'd remember the gorillas helping you out. Oh goodness. But yeah, no, I I do really enjoy watching Kingdom Hearts speedruns. I don't have the patience to do a speedrun of an RPG. I love the experience of the RPG too much. I don't need to back up, but I just like doing the running jump more. Welcome to, uh, welcome to... Hmm? Oh, Blue! Okay. Hi. <gasps> Blue, I forgot to tell the winos! Blue, can you tell all the winos and Gilded that I'm live on Crystal Dynamics? Oh my god, I'm such a terrible streamer. I'm an awful person. And poor Hunter has frozen. Oh, never mind, you're unfrozen. Yeah, sure, right away. Thank you so much, Blue. Blue Alexa is one of mine, yeah. Hunter. Blue Alexa is one of mine. That's a yeah. wino. All right, we've got another rude out the way. They, where, okay, I have several questions. Where are they getting all of these tigers? Lions, wrong animal. Where are they getting all of these lions? There's so many. I know Kettlepot's going to want to be up in here. You know, this is their home. They just keep referencing Turk. I feel like I can help you with the Google food, Randy. Just not right now, obviously. I also love how some of the blocks, the difference between Lara being like, I need both hands and I could just step up. Are you for real right now? Ah, uh, every the remastered time. visuals are so good. They're so good. Hey. Like, look at this guy box. Oh! Hold on a second. Oh my gosh. Brandy looked up the names. Uh, Kerchek, Hala, Turkeen, Flint, and Mungo. Oh my goodness gracious. Yeah, I don't remember any of these things. I'm going to do it from this block, I think. Is that a running jump or is that just a lunger? We're going to try the running jump first. That's a full square, I believe. Uh -huh. Am I completely backed up? You know what? I know how to make sure I'm completely backed up. <laughs> Boom. Nice. Now we're aligned. <laughs> Got it. All right. Which one are we naming this one? They can all have names. This one. I think this one's up in like the spectator box. We'll call him Kerchek. He's like the chief. Well, he sucks at his job. Though. Yeah, he he did awful. Zero out of ten chief skills. I didn't mean to do that. Oh. Okay, so this one is second in chief. Doing a little bit better, actually making some okay. headway towards Lara. Uh, still did not Kala, make. But we, we like Kala. Well, Kala. Kala, the mom. Kala <laughs> Kerchak, no. <laughs> this is basically how Tarzan went. No, don't say that. <laughs> oh God. Oh, colonizers. Um, I'm gonna save. I'm gonna save. Oh God. R.I.P. Right. Ripperoni. I can grab that block. Uh, I can't go in there unless these auto open. Chat, I was hopeful. Oh, what a glow up from that. Oh my god. Uh -huh. What a glow up for that. <clears throat> Alright, let's grab... I, I'm sad that I haven't... Meow. Lara, please. It's an operator error. No. I just wanted to hear the no one time. I knew I didn't have anything. I just wanted to hear it. 
All right, let's get into it. Can we push or pull? Get them quad exercises in. All right, Lara, you're gonna have to do some more. Keep on pulling. I should hear those quads burning. Yeah. Can I go back any further? That seems interesting. I could go back further. Pretty. We haven't done any uh, photo mode yet. We haven't. I thought about taking a bigger shot at the... Hang on a second. This is just paranoia talking now, but that's fine. Like, do you ever put yourself in scenarios where you're like, I am 99% certain something bad will happen if I don't do something like push this all the way over? Like, just a random bout of the brick gets propelled into you and it's like, oh, look, it's a Lara smash. Not to be confused with Smash Lara. A Lara Smash is something completely different. <laughs> Let's grab this. Let's open this. We've seen like, what, four doors? I knew it wasn't going to be the one that we were next to. I, I just, I felt that in my blood. I felt that in my blood. Yeah, that'd be, be too easy. I think that's, that's actually a, a secret behind that door, or it's optional. So it's not critical path, is what you're telling me. Yeah, no. Uh, large level. Maybe you can take a selfie with Kerchak. Oh, oh, oh! Hang on a second. I don't know. Do we? Oh, no. I feel like no. I, that's bad taste. We're not gonna do that. That gives that gives ick. I was like, that's that's. Hmm. Let's... Oh, there could be something here. Hang on a second. Let me just turn around, and then. We're going to see if we can make it work. All right. So, pose. Whenever you do stuff like this game, it makes me sad. <laughs> it makes me sad. Because I was hoping I would sit on the bench. Not this. Hello, Hello Sin. Welcome in. Uh-oh, you said Sin. Oh, it's yeah, Sin, Sin Fusion. Fusion, our friend. Yes, I have a mod named Sinziek, and I was like, oh god, are more winos here? I'm going to be tortured. Having a character say no instead of just getting you a chime is nice. Yeah, just she's just like, no, this doesn't work. Sorry, but not. Um, they That's right, you can move her now. So I think you can move her down in the geometry. She might clip through the floor. Okay. Forget how to do it. I, I'm sorry, because I have to do this with my mouse real fast. Ugh, I can't. I have a Zoom notification. It's hiding things. What is the combination for moving her is the question. Is it the up and down arrows? Or I think it's key. What is it? Let me try to look it up. Oh, left and right triggers or mouse buttons. Left and right triggers. I regret to inform you that my left and right triggers are not doing anything. You have a, a mouse set up? I do. Does that work? Yes. Oh, it's working. There we go. Right. Yeah. So we're moving her side to side. Uh huh. Um, this is going to be a combination of efforts here. I'm trying to see if I can move her up and down is the issue. You can. Because I saw all those fun memes of people where they were spinning her from the ceiling through the floor with the Crash Bandicoot sound effect. Hang on. Sin, you're in chat. How do I get how do I move her up and down? Space reset camera enter da, 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 da. And of course if there's anything else that's on there, nope, it's not. I just checked. Okay. Cool, 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 cool. Left and right triggers or mouse buttons. Uh oh oh. Ooh, ooh. Doot. Either middle mouse get, try the middle mouse click. I got it. Yeah. Hang on. Just, just... Thank you, Chris. Just do, do, do. And then... Gonna be... Oh, oh, oh. Messing up. Messing up. Okay. Uh, this is a problem because I'm a perfectionist. <laughs> and so now you get to deal with my hubris. Um, I was just doing it. 
Welcome in, Philip Croft. They say, hello, is that a BAFTA winner I see on my screen? It is, in fact, a BAFTA winner that you see on your screen. It's true. It's very true. Okay. Kind of, kind of. It was a poll, but it wasn't an official, like, BAFTA award. But it was a, it was a really awesome recognition. Hello, Tomb Player 123. Oh, it's Tomb Player. Greetings. And yes, thank you so much, Chris. You are a blessing. All right, so now, team, what do we caption this? What is this? What le what flavor of pensive Laura is this? Is she just thinking about how she's going to shoot Pierre next? Is she thinking about her next meal? Is it beans on toast? Is she just going to have a nice tea before she lays down for the day? Because, you know, adventuring Phillip is says, hard. Philip says it's her BAFTA photo shoot. <laughs> Love it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Felt cute, fitting. might get a bath later. I like that. I actually like that. I'll put this, we should put this up on the uh, socials. Felt <laughs> cute, might Send get it. a bath later. Okay. Uh, pardon? Don't do this to me, Steam. I'm hitting F12, Steam. I know how to Doom do it. Player finally got the platinum trophy for Tomb Raider 1. Congrats. Oh, love that for you. It's huge. All right. I will check it because I know F12 is how you screen cap. So I'll either have like 20 shots of that or zero shots of it. One or the other is true. One or the other is true. Pierre, don't be out here. Uh oh, I have cat aggro. Whoa. Hi, Funky. Hey, Funky boy. Oh, it just looks so good. I love this level so much. Let's see. Okay, where was that door? I think it was all the way back, like... It's in one of the corners yeah. on the bleachers. But I forget which one. Yeah, I would say, I, I remember investigating all the doors. All right, we're going to do something dangerous. No, we're not. Don't forget to save. Flamingo! Oh my gosh. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you. Saving. All right, so on the other hand, I have screenshots that caught the notif, which sucks. Do you run the Tomb Raider TikTok? That's, wait, where are you? You're above me on this. That's this dude right here. Hit me. <clears throat> Say, I run, whoa, 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 cat aggro, please, please. I don't need to be dangerous like this. You know what? I'm actually gonna be dangerous. Sorry, Lara. Oh, you're fine, girl. Your ankles are just a little tender, that's all. She did all that leg lifting earlier. She's warmed up. Yeah, she's she can, fine. She can take it. She's fine. I knew it. The voice sounded so familiar. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'll say, I think you do the voiceovers for some of them. I think I did maybe two of the TikToks. But the overwhelming majority of them are yours. Yeah, I did two. I only did two. I think it was like a stand-in for something or another. I don't remember. I have slept since then. I get the Baba says the new skybox gave this level such a glow up. It's amazing. They I are agree. The community team behind all TR socials. Correct. Oh my god. Why? Why are there always more bats? Natty's baddies. Oh, they're terrible. <laughs> like people think the worst enemies are things like the big gorillas or Pierre or or whoa whoa whoa. Or things like tigers and lions and stuff no it's the small annoying enemies the small annoying enemies are always the worst enemies oh no girl keep them guns out uh Ooh. oh that actually just made me jump you're stuck now i know that actually just made me jump oh god there's spikes down there oh i can't see anything did you survive that Walking as we speak. <laughs> Shout outs to Challenge Runner Natural Reflexes because I fell down and my brain processed to fall before it even started to process their spikes there. <clears throat> Which is a good thing because um, I would have died twice now. Oh, this is the wrong wall. My bad, Lara. 
This is also the wrong wall. My bad, Laura. <laughs> <laughs> oh, just spinning in circles. Just like, I can find where I'm going. I cannot find where I'm going. Let's actually save here. Just to be safe. You guys going to make another Legacy of Kane game? Oh, we, we aren't answering questions like that, unfortunately. We're just here to play some Tomb Raider. We're just here to play some Tomb Raider. Tomb Player wants to know what our favorite Tomb Raider games are. I feel like that's What's a new it? question, because I obviously, this is my first one. So <laughs> I only have one option to pick from. Uh, there's bits and pieces I like from all of them. Honestly, I don't think I could pick just one. I really enjoy Guardian of Light. It's such a fun little, like, bite-sized Tomb Raider game. Oh, my God. I um, forgot that's the co-op one, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've played that. Just, I'm yeah. not a complete scrub. I have actually played that. Oh, my God. <laughs> Tomb Player's like, pick. I don't know. They don't, they don't want my <laughs> diplomatic answer. I don't know. I'm sorry. I'm terrible. Two R one and Guardian of Light to my name, but yeah, I actually have played that. That was a lot of fun. Yeah. Um, you haven't suffered bat infestation, girl. If you haven't played the OG version of Spot Two C R one Reimagination remake, oh god, did someone remake it and make a torture mod? Because that sounds like your everyday torture mod. Oh my god! Speaking, of... I'm so <laughs> sorry if you're a headphone user. Come over here. Come here. Nah, I sent you. I don't even care about that door I just opened. Get over here, you. Oh, he's got stuff for backup. Okay, hold up. Time out. We gotta go uh, up here. Aha! Uh. Uh -huh. I have the upper hand. Uh, bring, bring the, bring the lions back out here. All right, let me take care of this lion and then get Pierre. Uh, or the lion can take care of itself. Shababa says that Rise of the Tomb Raider and Underworld are my everything. Totes. Why are you leaving? Underworld maps. Underworld's such a fun game. It's just like all iconic, every level. There needs to be an achievement to actually kill Pierre before you're supposed to. Oh, hi, kitty cat. Uh huh. You got that, that pet lion. Oh, no. Verticality is your weakness. Hate that for you. Hate that for you. Oh, I wish I could kill you early. Did he just disappear? Oh, what a punk made man. I hate him. I hate him. Ooh, Aww. there's a big block. Hang on. We just got a really sweet message. I was going to say, is it the big That's block really, that I was really about to read? Sweet. I'll read it out loud. <clears throat> yeah. Please hold. Just wanted to let you know that I personally and my mother are beyond thankful for you guys making this remaster, especially my mother who recently got diagnosed with dementia and wanted to relive her childhood game before things worsen. My mother was the one who introduced me to gaming and Tomb Raider being the first ever game she wanted to learn me. So this means a lot to the both of us and especially huge thanks from my mother. We appreciate you all. TV Milka, thank you so much for the kind words and such a heartfelt story. This is why, as a gaming historian also, like this is why preserving things like this is important. It has a lot more to it than just a lot of people look at it as it's just a video game. But it's more than that. It's a lot more than that. There's a lot of memories. There's a lot of nostalgia. There's a lot of heartfelt and touching things that come from what gaming has done for us. And I feel like that is a sensation that we should aspire for in any video game that we make. Be a remaster, be a remake, be a new IP, anything of that sort. That is the end goal. We want it to have lasting reactions and feelings to it that are positive so thank you so so much that is greatly appreciated not yeah, me tearing up sometimes eat. yeah oh i love stories like that that was um that's always so good to hear thank you wow wow i just wow. feel so good now <laughs> i'm actually gonna save over this one um Oh my goodness. Alright. We're going in. 
We're going for action. Who's in here and wants to get shot up? Oh god. Oh, this one's fun. Hold. This is a fun room. I thought I heard something. Okay. Sorry, we we's we's playing games now. Door closed. So I think if you line this up right, you can like do one just jumping sequence. Oh, Hold we're holding. I heard movement, and that's why. Okay. Go ahead. I, I was listening, but I also was trying to listen in for that. I think I heard a door sliding is why I, I said that. But I also am not good at the jumping because I know what you're talking about. Hoot! Ska! Yeah. Oh. Ska! Ska! Nice. Got him. All right. We're gonna it's save. so fun. Yeah. That actually felt nice. That felt really good and consistent. Thank you guys. Tomb Raider is definitely more than a game for me and my mother. It's forever something we will cherish. And my mother, thanks you guys again. We love you all. Sensational. Aww. Sending hearts to you. It's really sweet. Girl, why? Oh, that's why I came up here. I was like, girl, why did I jump up here if ain't nothing up here? <laughs> we just up here stretching our legs in this joint? Like, what are we doing? Flamingo. Oh, God. I did. I actually just... No, did okay. I just flamingo? Rule number two. If you're not sure if you flamingoed... Flamingo you to... again. Flamingo. Yeah. <laughs> flamingo, flamingo again. We're going to flamingo here for sure. Just to be safe. Just to be safe. I'm going to save over this one. Ooh, Ooh you favorite... ate that? Oh. Favorite Tomb Raider level. That's a tough one. What's yours? I mean, right now, for me, it's definitely still St. Francis Folly. Though I do love the exploration of this one right now. I am not going to front. Hello, you? Um, that door was floating. I just realized that. That door had a heckin' dang float. Alright, who wants it? Who wants it? I know someone out here wants it. Bats? Lions? Pierre? Larson. It's Larson. He's back. After that kick he took to the face, he better not be. <laughs> Weirdo. My, minus some teeth, but he's back. Oh, Lord. He needs every teeth that he has. And yes, I said that on purpose. <laughs> he needs every teeth that he has. I ain't found any secrets in here, but it's fine. I feel like this is one of the other things with playing adventure games and exploration <laughs> games. Sometimes you explore and find secrets, and sometimes you explore and find the correct answer. And you have to decide immediately, do you want to go back for secrets or do you want to keep exploring for the correct answer? Mr. Uh, Regimbo says Madubu Gorge as favorite level. That's a good one. Gorge? Yeah, it's Tomb Raider 3. Mm. It's the one with the kayak. So good. I, w I wouldn't even know. Like, there's so many good levels. I, I can't answer. It's so hard. There's a lot. I also messed up and did the load again, but I caught that I did the load this time. So we didn't accidentally save over our game. So we're good. I just have to go back to that one room that I was in. <clears throat> Lara, baby. I don't know why you insist on hugging them walls. Oh! Here's something else I was thinking of. So I'm going to do all of TR1 definitely for tank controls. I think when we get to TR2, I'm going to switch to modern. So oh, I wanna really? Play, I want to play a full game in modern, too. I want to do the experience of both. Yeah, it's a great idea. Tomb Raider Legend is definitely the best take in RNG. How about you? Um, let's see. My internet is not going well. I hate that for you, Tomb Player. One of my least favorite things. Can't stand it. I gave you the bad... I gave you the bad internet goblins. I knew someone was going to get afflicted with it. Aha. Aha. Now I'm going in the water. We ball. Ooh, Hall of Seasons. That's an Angel of Darkness level. That's, uh... I feel like we have a lot a of... Good. I feel like we have a lot of AOD enjoyers in chat right now. Brandy says, Jungle, Lost City of Tinos. Yeah, Brandy's been going through all of them. Brandy, I literally had no idea you were such a monster-sized TR fan. 
the watching you in Venice was that was peak. That was actually peak. That was super funny. I don't know if you've seen it, Hunter, but there's a clip of Brandy doing Venice trying to race the boat through on time, and I think she missed it by like one second. And it was not a oh, good sound. Oh, yeah, the door closed. Yes. And the door closed? Yes. I think I saw that video. Um, I'm replaying Tomb Raider 3, and one of my favorite levels from that so far has been the River Gang... I don't, I don't know how to say it. The River Gang... Ganges? Ganges? Yeah. Ganges? So cool. You you have to, like, ATV across a river to different tombs, like, solve their little puzzle, and then it opens the pathway for the ATV to go across, like, more of the river. Super cool. Ooh. This uh -huh. seems interesting. Yes. Alright. We're gonna back up a little bit. I need to be better about using circle to just turn around. But, um... <clears throat> Lara, baby. <laughs> Lara, baby. She's tired from moving all those blocks. You know, that's super fair, though. I, too, am tired when I left heavy things for extended periods of time. It's very relatable. Hello, Dayrock the God. <gasps> Welcome to chat. Oh, my God. That's an actual bestie. Jay, how are you? Thank you so much for stopping in. Hey, I heard there was tombs being raided in here. Correct. Accurate. I don't know if they're being raided well, but they're being raided. How are you? That's actually a real-life friend of mine, Hunter. Oh, really? I, I am full of so much joy now. Oh, my gosh. Aww. Brandy knows Jay as well. I don't know if I actually have a favorite level, but Floating Islands is up to my top levels. It's probably one of the most creative levels in the franchise, in my opinion. Guns out. All yeah, right. I feel like Floating Levels was the level where the design team was just like, let's be crazy. Let's have fun. So I have a bunch of things I need to do. Why? Why? Why is there? Okay, go back to the list. Who all do we do? We did Carlac? Not Carlac. That's someone in Baldur's Gate. Um, Karak? Kar I, I don't know how to say that damn name. Um, but we've done two of them. We need a third name. We need a third name. Now I'm not going down. Oh, there are we talking you. about the gorilla? Yes, because there's a third one. I'm not going down there with you, homie. I have yeah, stuff. We, uh, Turk. This one can be Turk. Okay. I'm not going down there with you, homie, because there's a lot of back... Actually, it's not that bad of backtracking. I'm going to go down there and stop being a punk. I swear to God, though, Pierre, don't do it. Oh, homie, how'd you get up there? All right, we're Gucci for now. For now. Okay. Jay, do you see all these animals? Like, I'm just trying to figure out the funding situation. I'm trying to figure out the funding situation. How you got money for all this stuff? All right, I need to get back up there because that's where the doors are mm -hmm. and that's where the key is. Um, oh God, do I really have to loop all the way back though? Is Pierre- Yeah, you're honestly like right by the end of the level. You I, cruise through this one. With talking, we're getting more comfortable. I think the beginning of the stream was just a little rough because uh. I may or may not have forgotten how to do everything. And it just took a moment for me to get it all back. Tomb Player is asking about the scariest Tomb Raider level now. Sanitarium, honestly, I don't know that there's anything scarier than that one. It's called a that sanitarium. Oh. It's yeah, it's from Angel of Darkness. You're literally in a sanitarium. No, absolutely <laughs> not. It absolutely was so, not. like, of the era. No, that's horrendous. All right, I got to figure out. I wonder, was that a shortcut? Was that a shortcut? I don't remember. About to find out. Girl, your ankles are fine. Stop complaining. It was not. And now I am sad. I'm just trying to think of the fastest way to get back there. I don't, don't make me go back down through them spikes. Do I have to go back down through those spikes? No, nah, don't smile about that. Don't. <laughs> Jesus, take the wheel. Okay. Can she do it twice? I don't think I can. Go! 
God, I'm oh such a gamer. God. God, I'm a gamer. So good at this. So good at this. Okay, we're saving. What? Oh my God. All right, we're going to be extremely dangerous. Jay, we've been gaming over here today. You have no <laughs> idea. I wonder what kind of training Lara does to have ankles stronger than steel. I don't know. Like, it's a combination. Maybe, maybe the deep hidden lore is that she's a bionic woman. We don't have to go with she's that. A, she's a Terminator. Yes, she's actually a Terminator. <laughs> but she's the good Terminator. She's the one that wants to help the people. She's not the one that's just like in Terminator 2, arbitrarily turning into liquid and wanting to kill everybody. <laughs> The only downside is if I keep my health this low, I cannot make any falls. Do you have health packs? I do. But I'm oh, cool. playing dangerously. We've awakened now. Flamingo. Ah! Oh my god. You are you are playing with fire. It is hot. Oh god. I'm so sorry, chat. You got to witness my evil laugh. <clears throat> I apologize about that. No one should have to deal with me evil laughing in their ear. <laughs> the sliver of health. <laughs> See, now we're in a dangerous area because I'm comfortable. And that's the last thing you want, is a challenge runner to get comfortable on a game. Now you're going to have... you're getting all these, like, clutch, clutch moments. Uh... I'd be dead. <laughs> I have to do a running jump for that. Note it. <laughs> oh, wow. Y'all have exposed the evil laugh. I'm so sorry. Kind of. Ish. Oh, I'm only vaguely sorry. I'm going to be real. <laughs> That's what we did last time. Two players oh. says one, and it's over. But that's a great evil laugh. Oh, I thank you. All right, let's let's play it a little bit safer as I don't use a health pack. If Pierre comes out right now, I'm scuffed. He's gonna come out of that water. It's gonna pop up like a mermaid. <laughs> like surprise. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna save. Oh. Oh wow. Oh! There's all kinds of empty slots. Yeah, I'm sticking to one screen, it's fine. It's fine. There's gonna be an alligator. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. Oh, why am I like this? Hmm. Oh, you're now jokes. going into one of one of the hardest levels in Tomb Raider. Do I get chomped? Oh, he's gonna get ya. I was just thinking about, I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Y'all really said we want her to live stream. That's wild work. Oh, I just got up there too. No. <laughs> Boo. Boo. I'm going back in. I'm going back in. Also, you can tell me transparently if I go through those double doors, am I at the end of the level? Uh, I forget exactly where the end trigger is, but it's in this section. All right. I say let's go ahead and get through this. And when I clear this level, we'll call it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Elite hating by that uh, croc. Oh, you thought, sir. All right. Come over here if you want to. Oh, Lara, you're not aiming, and I don't like that. <clears throat> That's what a laugh is scarier than the sanitarium. Oh, I don't believe that. I don't believe that. That's not true. You're just saying stuff. All right, I'm gonna have my tea. We're gonna we're gonna kill this dude. But Did yes. we name the croc? I forget. Mm. I don't know if the crocodiles have a name. If I'm being really honest, and if they do, we'd have to check the vault because I don't recall it. In any way, shape, or form. I can't remember. Wow. I remember that one that like ascended and clipped through the wall? Oh my god, that was so good. That was so good. Okay, so I have to tell you stories about J Rock while we're here really fast. I am gonna heal up so that I can just go back in there because I don't want to delay this any further. So J is a speedrunner of the Resident Evil variety. Of course, the hating fish. 
um, of the Resident Evil variety, and sometimes he does what's called a randomizer. And my favorite thing is when in his randomizer it decides that it's going to put something like a shark in the ceiling. Oh. Yeah. I have to reload. Ooh. I have to reload oh, off stream because I never went through those double doors. I didn't touch them. The ones at the at the bottom of the stairs? Yeah, I never went through those. Yeah, I think there's like a cookie back there, like a. No, back, we're reloading. Like I don't have time for this. We're, we're reloading. We're reloading. <laughs> we're reloading. I'm not. I'm not dealing with being disrespected like that. And we're especially no. How far back can I reload? Because if that's the end of the level, I'm gonna save my health pack. No, no. In this economy, absolutely the hell not. No. No. Squishy says PT is always looking for the cookies. Facts. These are correct, accurate assessments. All right, so we know that that's the end of the level. I will get us to the end of the level before we start next stream, regardless. Num num. I did all of that for a single health pack. <laughs> I am so secondhand irritated. You have no idea. But, oh, that's something else I want to highlight that's a special level of evil in Tomb Raider games, by the way, by the way, is the fact that there are so many instances and levels in general. What in the world was that? I think I heard, no, I think that I just heard you messing with your mic. Okay, we're good, we're good, we're good. Oh. I'm going to get killed because I am not moving. And we're good. Yeah. I want to try and kill the alligator. It's the end of stream, so I feel like you should die as an offering. Is that weird? An offering to the Tomb Raider gods that saved your butt like 10 times in this stream? I would like to state that that was not saving. That was elite gameplay. That was content. <laughs> That's what that was. That was content. Another level down. Yes. Croc with a little backpack like the PS1 platformer game. So, Drax, we were talking about that. We were talking about that. And how, um... Oh, jeez, we have a meeting in five minutes. I just realized that. We gotta go. We gotta get out of here. <laughs> For reals. Whoops. Hey, it's our 100th save. Woo. Oh, nope. Homie is uh, the wrong direction. Or am I the wrong direction? Um, <clears throat> so what was I going to say? It's Drax. So we were talking about that before and how, like, there's actual, like, references to Lara Croft in some of the other games on the PS1. So things like um, Spyro has a Lara Croft reference in it. And we... <sighs> I just think that that's the cutest thing. This level is so good. Well, this is where uh, we're going to start off when we come back. Because, unfortunately, well, you and I are being summoned for a meeting. So this is perfect. We finished St. Francis Folly. We finished the Coliseum. Our brand uh, lead is going to be very upset to know I did not get any secrets. But that's okay. Because I feel like we did some good exploration. I, I felt like we explored well. We shot Pierre a bunch. We shot Pierre. You can kill him. He doesn't come back now. Why do you keep lying to my face like this? Why are you like this? Okay, good. Yeah, I thank you. Uh, thanks for hanging out, everybody. We're going to get going, but we'll let you know on social when we have another stream. We try to do them every two weeks, but we're going to have to um, deviate from the, for the next one. But yeah. this has been fun. We'll figure some stuff out. But thank you so much, everybody, for hanging. It's greatly appreciated. As always, make sure if you want to know things like when we're going live or when cool stuff is happening in the Tomb Raider universe, follow all of us on our socials. We have a Twitter. We have an Instagram. We have a Tika Ataka. We have a Facebook. We have many ways to deliver news to you. But most importantly, you should probably go to TombRaider.com and sign up. Get that news. Get them updates directly from us. And you'll know exactly what's going on. And you'll get fun things like blogs about the community and blogs about merch and other items. But without sounding too cheesy, we are going to get out of here. Again, thank you everybody for hanging out. It is greatly appreciated. And we'll see you next time. Have a good day. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.